Hey, how you doing Econ World? This is Jacob Clifford. Welcome to ACDC Econ. Now I'm going to be talking to teachers here. If you're a student, you're more than welcome to watch, but I'm really talking to teachers. You probably know that I wrote and co-hosted the economics episodes of Crash Course. Now one of my favorite videos that we did was on behavioral economics. And in that video, there's a reference to an activity that you can use in your classroom. It's called the ultimatum game. The idea is pretty simple. The students are randomly paired off with a partner, and the first partner is given a specific amount of bonus points or money if you're super rich to split with the second partner. The second partner is given those conditions and they can either accept the deal or reject it. If the second partner accepts, then they both walk away with the allotted amount of bonus points. If the second partner rejects, then they each walk away with nothing. Now it's a pretty fun activity because it's great to see your students completely like freak out, but the economics is extremely valuable. Now I'll go over that later in the video. First, let me go over the details of how you run the activity. Some teachers use money or candy, but in my class I use 10 bonus points. I think it's important to have something that students actually value. The downside of this is at the end of the class, some people are gonna get bonus points and some people are not. There's gonna be winners and losers, but hey, that's life. It's super important to keep this activity double blind. That is to make sure each participant and you as a teacher don't know who's partnered with who. This protects you from students that complain that you gave them a bad partner and it limits the chance that there's other factors at play. For example, if you accidentally pair two students that hate each other, you might get different outcomes. In my class, students sit in rows, and so to start it off, I have all the students on the right of each row leave the room. I then randomly hand out numbered envelopes to the remaining students in the room. Now, since at the end of this activity, I need to know who's partnered with who, I pass around a sheet so they can write down their name and the number on their envelope. At that point, I explain the scenario over again and remind them they don't have to split the points evenly. They can split them however they want. I then have them take out the slip of paper that's in the envelope and write down this sentence. Partner one gets to keep blank and partner two gets to keep blank. They then fill in the blanks and then take the slip and put it in the envelope. Once everyone's done, I have them leave the room and bring in the second group. As the second group enters the room, I randomly hand out the envelopes and explain the scenario again and remind them that they don't have to accept the terms. It's their choice. They also write down the number on the envelope and their name so I can compare that to the previous list I gave the first group so I can record that in the gradebook. Here's the best part. The first group walks back in the room and everyone's nervous and excited. They wonder if they're gonna get the bonus points. I remove each slip one by one and record the conditions and if it was accepted or rejected on the board. Okay, we got nine to one. Rejected. It's awesome to see your students like moaning and complaining or all excited that they got the points or yelling out in class. It's awesome. Okay, so this activity is fun, but what does it tell us about economics? Well, I actually do it in the beginning of the semester, right around when we talk about how people are rational and self-interested. When I debrief this activity, I explain that traditional economics predicts that people in the second group will accept any offer. I mean, after all, it's better to have one bonus point than having no bonus points. But in this activity, you find out one-sided offers are often rejected. But why? Is someone that rejects the deal acting irrational? Well, it turns out that human decision making is not just about dollars and cents. It's also shaped by more complex ideas like fairness, equality, and revenge. The ultimatum game shows that we weigh benefits and costs, but they're not necessarily monetary. And this helps students understand other concepts like opportunity costs. Right? When you factor in the benefits and costs of something, there's always an opportunity cost, and that opportunity cost might just have implicit costs. It's not dollars and cents, it's some other things that you value that you're giving up. Anyways, this is a great activity. Your students are going to love it. Try it in class, okay? Till next time. Hey, thanks for watching ACDC Econ. If you don't have them already, take a look at my teacher resources. They are awesome. Also, if you teach AP Economics, please support this YouTube channel by getting the ultimate review packet. I just added four full AP exams, okay? Thanks for watching. Till next time.